Blessed be the name of the Lord who has given us another opportunity and grace to live the abundant life that he only has given unto us. We give him praise, glory, and honor for all that he has done and still doing even in our lives. We give God all the praise. Father, we thank you for this blessed new day you have given unto us. We are grateful to you. We come before you, O oh God, to seek your face with your word. In the beginning was the word. The word will never go nowhere because you are the word. And so we come this morning, even through this media of broadcast to saturate the atmosphere with your word that your people will increase. Let revelation knowledge abound in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Well, let me just acknowledge some of you. Kujo, God bless you from the nation of Ghana, Lynette. Lynette Misati, God bless you. Please do me a favor, as always, share the broadcast, invite somebody, tag your friends and loved ones, and um, let them know that um, it is time to get a word. We've been talking about the subject of confusion. Subject of confusion. What do you do in the midst of confusion? What do you do in the midst of confusion? When you are confused, what do you do? When you find yourself in the place of confusion, from Kenya, Len Linet, Linet or Linet, from Kenya, God bless you. All right, what do you do in the midst of confusion? When you find yourself in the midst of confusion, what do you do? We all go through a level or a state of confusion. Rama from Canada. We have Ghana, we have Kenya, Canada. God bless all of you apostles and disciples. I believe the, the, uh, the Ghana one, Kojo, left off. Um, God bless you anyhow. The Yo people. <laughs> God bless you. Um, what do you do in the midst of confusion? In the midst of confusion. Now, uh, whether you are rich, poor, in between, it don't matter. Somehow, some way, because you are a living being, you are a living being, breathing the breath of God, you will go through some level of confusion, a state of confusion, one way or the other. God bless you. Good morning to you also. Good morning to you again, Rama, the disciple Rama, and the apostle, husband of Rama. God bless you, all of you from Canada. I hope you are doing well. Well, what do you do in the midst of confusion? What do you do? What do you do? Now, do you know what to do? Some, some, you know, the world has its own, you know, remedies for confusion. The world has its remedy for confusion. When you find yourself in the place of confusion, what do you do? The world may tell you all kinds of things. You know what? Just take a, a shot of, uh, you know, a hot liquor and go to bed. You'll be all right. Or, you know, just inject yourself with some virus of, you know, some <clears throat> um, bad drug or something like that. You'll forget about your problem. Or just, you know, do a... I mean, the world has its uh, remedies for confusion. But as a child of God, what is your remedy for confusion? What is your remedy for confusion? That's what we're going to be talking about today. And I believe that that will, will lead us into... The subject of depression, depression. A lot of people, listen, we come into the close of the year and a lot of people are going through a lot of things. Some problems have not been solved. Some situations have not been taken care of. And uh, it puts you in the state of confusion, in the state of, of, um, of uh, you know, a, a place where you don't know whether to go forward or to come back, whether to go left or to go, to go right. Helmut, God bless you. All right, what do you do when you find yourself in the state of confusion? In the state of confusion. Now, the, like I said, the world will tell you uh, what to do. Do you know that people go to see the doctor when they are de depressed? There are people who go to see the doctor because to them, it's a medical condition when they, are, they feel depressed. I'm depressed because, you know, of this uh, marital problems. I, I'm depressed because... Uh, finances are not really solid. I, I'm depressed because um, this family issues, and they go and see their doctor, medical doctor for for medical, you know, remedies. And like I said, um, the the medical science will give you some remedies. Maybe they'll give you a shot of some dose for you to go go to sleep. 
all right get 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 some sleep and um of course they would like you know you'll be diagnosed with the fact that maybe you are not sleeping enough and uh that could be it um or you are you are too stressed because of this issue or that issue and therefore when you find yourself in a state of confusion beloved as a child of god and as a believer and if you are not even considering yourself a child of god let me tell you something you have to be in a family of the children of god so you will know what to do in in the in the family of believers this is what we do this is what we do maybe you are part of it but you don't know what to do and that's what we're going to share uh today we've been talking about that in a couple of days now in the beginning of this week what do you do in the midst of confusion when you find yourself in the midst of confusion because you are going to find yourself in that state one way or the other the spirit of confusion will, will you know will visit you all right um as a result of something that you are you are you are dealing with all right what do you do what do you do uh don't think that you you have mastered what to do all right you have mastered what to do you have you have not mastered every one of us need uh, a refresher course every now and then what do you do in the midst of confusion when you find yourself in confusion you are in a state of confusion i mean it's like you are confused about this job you are confused about this this marriage you are confused about this ministry you are confused about your finances you are confused about the, you know the governmental area your socioeconomic area what do you do in the midst of confusion there's answer for that god bless you um uh, man of god um uh, uh, new love god bless you what do you do what do you do in the midst of confusion and um you you also find yourself among people who are confused <laughs> and the uh, scripture talks about um you know um the kind of company you belong to the company you belong to if you belong to a company of confused people your life is going to be confused you constantly going to be confused all right and so there are different areas that you need to try to diagnose your state of confusion when you find yourself in the place of confusion you need to first of all the first thing you have to do is you have to seal it you have to seal it you have to just pause and uh, try to diagnose what it is you might even know exactly you know what is causing causing you to be confused still yet still you have to just slow down like i said yesterday chillax chill and relax that's chillax <laughs> all right you need to chillax and then you'll be able to um, diagnose you know what to do because then you position yourself and um, god will talk to you if you look to him did you get it if you look to god now if you don't look to god and you look to you know your friends or your loved ones or your neighbors or your doctors and all that well your situation may increase that place of confusion may take you to the place of depression because in the state of confusion in the state of confusion a lot of you hear a lot of voices in the state of confusion you hear a lot of voices you hear a lot of voices people have been people been saying all kinds of things to you whatever they feel is what you you're going to hear whatever they feel is what you're going to hear whatever they think is what you're going to hear are you listening and so in the midst of confusion you need to know who to talk to and the first person you want to look to is god himself oh my daughter from nigeria Hey, Rama, God bless you. God bless you from Nigeria. From Nigeria, I hope you're doing well over there. Are you listening? In the state of confusion, in the state of confusion, the first person you want to talk to is God. And listen, your family and your friends and loved ones are not the first people to talk to. You know why? Because they're human beings as you are, and they get confused as well about things. And so they're going to give you their opinion that may not help the situation. All right. If you're having a problem, you know, with with let's say your spouse, and you're confused about the situation, if you if the first people you talk to are your family members who do not even like your spouse, well, guess what you're gonna get? You're gonna get an antidote that is gonna escalate the problem for you. And before you know, you have joined them because they don't even they are confused in the first place themselves. Are you listening? So the first pe person you want to talk to in the midst of your confusion is God. 
And how do you know that? How do I know that? Because your Bible tells you that. That first of all, God is not the author of confusion. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 33. It says God is not, is not the author of confusion. Yes, I'm doing well. God bless you. Are you listening? God is not the author of confusion. And so you are when you, you are going to the person who that did not create or doesn't create confusion. Are you listening? That is the first place to go. Okay. But if you don't go to if you don't go to him and you go to people who are also confused and they are just like you who go through some level of confusion in their lives, they are going to tell you what they believe. And that, that may not may, may not help your situation. Are you listening? That may not help your situation. You need to pick up your Bible and get to God. Find go go to God first of all. Listen, it don't matter what the situation you find yourself in, just run to God. Are you listening to me? Run to God. He he is a person who will de not deny you. He is a person who will not deny you. It doesn't matter what the situation may be. Run to God. Even if you have committed the heinous sin in your life, run to God. It doesn't matter how bad your sins are. Run to God. It does not matter how bad you feel about a sin you committed thousand years ago. Run to God. Just go to Him. I'm telling you. Because that is your place of safety. That is, that is a place of getting results and answers. Are you listening? The Bible tells you and I to seek ye first the things of God. Seek first. Seek first. Seek first, seek first the kingdom of God, the things in his kingship, in his domain, in his government. Are you listening to me? Seek God, seek first the kingdom of God. And it's all, and it's all righteousness. And it's all righteousness. So when you find yourself in the midst of confusion, beloved, the first place for you to go is for you to go to the house of God, for you to go to God. Go to God and seek that He seek Him because you know what? There is peace in the midst of confusion. And this peace, you can only find it when you go to God. Are you listening to me? I'm telling you the fact. And so this is very important for you. you listen, it doesn't, and this has nothing to do with the church you go to. It don't matter whether you go, go to church or you don't go to church. This is just across board. As long as you are a human being. Some kind of level, some level of trouble or challenge, or, or 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 some something is going to get you to the place where your mind, man, I'm telling you, your mind is full of, your mind is so clouded with some stuff that sometimes, and that brings you to the place of agitation. You come, to, I mean, so you are, you become so agitated. Are you listening to me? You become so agitated that you know it depends on what your medical you know levels are. I mean, let it, little things can just let you snap. Little things can let you snap because you are you are not at peace. There's no peace within you. In the midst of confusion, there's no peace. But I want you to know that there's peace in in the midst of confusion. But you can only get that from God. And so in the in the, the peace you are looking for in the midst of your state of confusion, you don't get it from the medical doctors. You don't get it from the world. You don't get it from the books you read. You don't get it from the books you read. Please listen to me carefully. I'm telling you something that is very practical to your Christian life. If you are telling me that you are a Christian and yet you don't experience or haven't experienced a state of confusion, then keep living. Are you listening to me? You better keep living. Because you, you listen, you're going to find yourself one way or the other in this place. Now, what do you do? What do you do? A lot of Christians, like I said, use my own self to tell you stuff. As a Christian, if you are not careful, you are going to fall in the hands of the world when you find yourself in the place of confusion. All right? When you find, you're going to find yourself in the world. And that will escalate your problems. And that will get you, some of you, listen, some people have turned their back against God and they thought God wasn't fair to them and God wasn't good to them and God didn't answer them and all that. It, 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 it's, a, it's as a result of their in, inability to understand 
all right that god has the antidote and the remedy for where you are they didn't go to god they thought that well you know if if god was with me why am i going through this and why did i go through this and all that beloved that was their immaturity all right which caused them for them to turn their back against god and where are they today they are they are vanished they're gone are you listening because the enemy the devil the bible says in john chapter 10 verse 10 he came to steal to kill and to destroy he ain't come to be your friend he came to put you in a place of confusion so that you can turn your back against god so that you don't look for god so you think that god hasn't supported you and god hasn't done good for you and and all that all that foolishness are you listening but you must make up your mind you must make up your mind that irrespective of whatever I'm going through, I'm going to God. I'm going to God. Remember the story about the uh, the, the this little uh, uh, Bible calls him the prodigal son. Well, he went back to the father after he messed himself up. He went back to the father. He didn't go. He didn't. He went to the world to seek you know, right things that he thought he could get in the world. Listen, the world has nothing to 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 give you. The world has don't have nothing. They will give, will give you a mess. The world will give you nothing but a mess. And so he, he went and messed up all that he had and all that. The Bible said he came to a place where he had to even eat what the pigs were eating. Came to himself and says, no, that's not where I belong. Let me go back to the Father. Go back to the Father. Beloved, you need to go back to God. It doesn't matter what a situation you find yourself in. Go to God. Just run as fast as you can to go to God. That's where you are. You find you begin to find your answers. Are you listening? I'm showing you what you have to do because Christianity, Jesus came to show us the way for us to live. Are you listening? Jesus came to show us the way to live. He came to give us the solution for our this the solution. <laughs> are you listening? And so this is what why this is why you have to get in the word of god and study the word of god very important all right so let me share some things with you i want you to open your bibles with me um to matthew the chapter uh, six all right matthew the sixth chapter the 33rd verse and uh, we've read that already i've mentioned that to you that bible says seek ye first seek ye first the kingdom of god so in the time of your confused state you are not, I mean, it's like, man, what is happening? You have prayed all year. And you got you got up this morning, it's like, my goodness, the year is just about over. Man, I have not been able to do this. I didn't do that. You know, and I went to church beginning of the year and I prayed to God and I did all these faith confessions and I've done this and I've been giving and I've been sowing and I've been fasting and I've been doing all this and still nothing. Man, it's like, what's going on? Well, beloved, just seek him. Maybe you, you maybe you have not been seeking him. You 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 look for him in the beginning of the year, and since then you haven't looked for God. Well, seek him. Are you listening? Matthew 6 33. All right, Matthew 6, the sixth chapter, verse 33. Jesus is saying this to you and me. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Seek ye first. Seek ye first. What do you seek first when you are when, when you find yourself in the place of confusion? Well, who, who do you seek first? All right? Stop calling people immediately. You find yourself in the midst of confusion. Because you may even be calling the wrong people. And guess what? These are the people who are going to hear your story and they're going to start spreading all over the place. Meanwhile, they can't help you. Have, you. have you experienced that? You talk to people who can help you after listening to your story and they say, oh man, I wish if you had come yesterday. And they're even lying. Talking about if you had come yesterday, I would have been able to do something. They're lying too. But they have listened to your story and now they call. Immediately you leave their presence. They call, they call somebody and say, can you believe I mean, she coming to me, the, 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 and then they start spreading, you know, you all over the place. Seek ye first. Let God show you who to call. Are you listening to me? If you sincerely go to God, he's going to, he's going to point who and the direction where you should go. 
So seek first the kingdom of God. Seek first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. Its right righteousness. Every right area that God has, He will He will lead you to that place in the midst of your confusion. Are you listening to me? Very, very important. Come with me to Isaiah, the book of Isaiah, chapter 50. Isaiah, the book of Isaiah, the 50th uh, chapter, Isaiah chapter 50, verse 7. Listen to this. For the Lord God will help me. For the Lord God, and I want you to put you there. You see yourself there? For the Lord God, for who? The Lord God, not people. For the Lord God will help you. Stella, God bless you. Good morning. For the Lord God, Isaiah chapter, um, chapter 50, verse 7. For the Lord God will help me, therefore I will not be disgraced. And therefore I will not be disgraced. Therefore I have set my face like a flint. And I know that I will not be ashamed. Why do you think you will not be ashamed? Why do you think you will not be disgraced? Because you have set your face like a flint. Nothing is shaking you. Uh, like somebody said the other day to me, no shaking. Are you listening? No shaking. You set your face like a flint. Nothing is moving you. Okay? Nothing. Scripture says, look into Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. Of your faith. Look into Jesus. Not look into your friends and loved ones and all that. Look to Jesus. Now, if God want to use your friends, your, your family members to help you, that's what he going to do. But he directs your path. Are you listening? He, God, directs your path. So when you find yourself in the midst of confusion, in the state of confusion, the first person you want to look to is Jesus. Are you listening? Isaiah chapter 50 verse 7. Let me read that again for you. For the Lord God will help me. You see where your help is? In the midst of confusion, in the midst of the place where you are, you, you know, you need help. Who do you call? You go to God. Go to God. Are you listening? You go to God. All right. He will help me. The Bible says. All right. Now listen. Listen, listen to that. For the Lord God will help me. Therefore, I will not be disgraced. Therefore, I have set my face like a flint, and I know that I will not be ashamed. Glory be to God. Amen. So that is what you do. You seek Him first. You seek Him first. Why? Because He is your helper. Through the Holy Spirit, He's your helper. All right, He's your helper. Come with me to uh, 1 Peter chapter 2. 1 Peter chapter 2. 1 Peter chapter 2. Are, are, you, are you being blessed? I believe you are. Praise God. Please invite, share, share this broadcast right now. Share it right now to your friends and loved ones. Let them also get this word. It will be a blessing to them as well. All right, tag your friends, share it, invite somebody. And um, do all that good things. All right. Um, First Peter chapter two. Look at verse six. Therefore, therefore, it is also contained in the scripture. Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he who believes on him, he who believes on him, will by no means be put to shame. He who believes on him. Who are you believing on in the time of your coming? The, your, your state of confusion. Who do you believe? You believe in, in your government? I mean, a lot of people have been so disappointed uh, in their various um, you know governments of their uh, various countries. I mean, I, I talk to a lot of people all over the world and it's that uh, the government is disappointed people. The government is not doing that. that, that, that. Who do you believe? Some have disconnected from their family, families in which they were born into. Why? Because they've been disappointed. Who do you believe? Some have disconnected from friends and loved ones. Who do you believe? Some have separated and, and all that from their families and all. Who do you believe? You have to believe in God. In the state of confusion, beloved, you put your trust and believe in God. Not in people. Not in things. Not in things which are temporal. Not in things. Like I said, some people go to see the doctor for, you know, in the state of confusion that, that puts them... In, uh, in, the, in, in, the, in, the, in an environment of depression. Well, what the doctors are going to give you is just temporal. They may give you a fix, a shot of 
some kind of um, you know medicine for you to calm down and go to bed or whatever but guess what you haven't dealt with the situation so it will, it will still be staring up in your face when you wake up are you listening so you will have to come to the place of knowing that your resource is in God first Peter chapter 2 verse 6 okay so you need to do that. You have to understand that. Beloved, this is very important. If you don't do this, if you don't do this, you you will be all over the place and you make the matters worse. Why? Because you are talking to everybody all over the place instead of talking to God. Seek ye first the kingdom. Seek ye first. Seek ye first. Listen to this, man. I, I love this. I love this. I love this. All right? Watch this. It says... It says, um, <clears throat> um, Isaiah chapter 50, verse 7 again. I love that word. It says, I've made my face like a flint. Isaiah chapter 50, verse 7. It says, for the Lord God will help me. For the Lord God will help me. Can you say that to yourself? For the Lord God will help me. Your help comes from the Lord. It comes from the Lord. Therefore, I will not be disgraced. Therefore, I have set my face like a flint. And I know that I will not be ashamed. I have set my face like a flint. Are you listening? I've set my face like a flint and I will not be ashamed. Why? Because I know that God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, far above what I can think or even imagine. Are you listening? And another thing you need to understand, at this point, when you find yourself in this area, you can't help yourself and you need help. You need help. And that your help comes from the Lord. And so you have to look to the Lord. He will then. Now, God uses flesh and blood as Satan uses flesh and blood. And so God is going to point you to either sister A or sister B or whoever and what have you. God will point you and lead you to that place. Are you listening? But if you bypass God to look to somebody else, you're going to escalate the problem. Why? Because they don't have the, 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 the complete antidote for what you are going through. They don't. They don't. They're going to probably give you just a temporary fix, like I said, you know, to just calm you down. And when you come out of that, it's going to just, you're going to be seeing what you are dealing with. So keep your eyes on God. All right. Why? Because you need peace in the midst of uh, your confusion. You need peace. You need peace. You need peace. When you, when you find yourself in the midst of confusion, all right, there's peace in confusion. But this peace is, a, is the peace of God. It's not a peace of the world. It's not a peace of your, your wife or your husband or your friends, your family or your government and all that. That peace you are looking for is the peace of God because it surpasses all understanding. The peace you are looking for in the midst of confusion is the peace of God. Let me show you that. Let me <laughs> let me show you that. All right, let me show you that. Come with me to to um um. Let me show you something. First, uh, First Corinthians chapter fourteen. First Corinthians the fourteen chapter. First Corinthians the fourteen chapter. First of all, God is not the author of confusion. God is not the author of confusion. But of peace, but of peace, but of peace, but of peace. God is not the author of confusion, but of peace. And so the peace you are looking for is in the hands of God. All right. God is not the author of confusion. And so you need to trust him. You need to trust him as uh, the book of Proverbs chapter, uh, five, uh, chapter 3, verse 5 and 6 say to you. All right, that you need to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. It says, in all your ways, acknowledge him. In all that you are going through, 
in the midst of confusion. Acknowledge he God and he shall direct your path. And so, and so when you acknowledge him in the time of your confusion, God will direct your path. He, your path. He will show you how and where and what to do. How, where, and what to do. He will direct your path, the Bible says. He will direct your path. And so you will need to go first to God. Beloved, I am stressing this enough for you. I'm drilling this in you. Because I have been there. That and and that see it, it's a it's a very serious spirit that comes to just flow your your I mean literally just flow you off your foundation. And if you don't have this understanding, you will be moved, your foundation will be shaken, and uh, you will not know what to do. I am telling you, it will let you take wrong decisions. It will let you take wrong decisions. And guess what? That wrong decisions, it may be a temporal fix, but it's going to bring you a whole headache. Long-term headaches. It may look like it's going, to, it's going to give you a temporal fix right now, but I'm telling you, are you listening? So look to God. He will direct your path. Lean not on your own understanding. Lean not on your own. I, I have done that leaning on my own understanding, thinking that, well, this is the way I got to go and all that. But beloved, by the end, it brought me nothing but headaches. Headaches, literally headaches. And then you have to try to do, you know, another form of uh, um, damage control. Are you listening? So you have to be very careful and uh, not to get yourself in there. All right. That's why you have to seek God. Seek God with all your heart. Seek God with all your heart, okay? Now, Bible talks about not be, be, be anxious when you find yourself in the midst of confusion. Don't be anxious. Calm yourself down. Well, pastor, you don't understand where I am. Yes, I do. And that's why I'm telling you, you calm yourself down. When you calm yourself down, when you first of all calm yourself down you and seek the face of God, you will hear the direction in which God is taking you. Because he directs your path. He directs your path. But if you are in a crossroad and you are you are you you are in a state of confusion, if you allow yourself to be anxious, you will take the wrong this the wrong direction. You will you will make the wrong decisions. And so this is very important, beloved. All right. Let's look at um, Psalms chapter <clears throat> one nineteen. Psalms chapter 119 verse 165. Psalms 119 verse 1, 165. Great peace have those who love your law. Great peace. And nothing causes them to stumble. Did you see that? Are you there? If you're not, just write it down and please check it out. Great peace. Great peace. Great peace. So if you are looking for that great peace, beloved, Great peace, the Bible says, have those who love your law, your commandment. Great peace. Great peace. Not small peace, but great peace. In other words, see, that kind of peace will let you go to sleep and sleep well. That kind of peace will not you have a sleepless night. That kind of peace will... will, will you know, put uh, you know uh, 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 a laughter on in in your face in the midst of that confusion. Now, when 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 you think that you know people think, why is he still laughing? I can't believe with all that he's still happy. I can't believe it. You know, <laughs> um, somebody said, I believe it's could you send that um, this um, um, uh, it's it's an artwork that. Um, you know, how do you, he says, um, I get angry when I see you, you are, he says, you are, I'm angry because you, you owe me and you are smiling. Something to that effect. And I love, well, great is the peace of God in my life. And he who is able to give me peace in the midst of confusion will not put me to the place of shame. 
he will take care of that. Because you see, I can't buy, even if I have all the money in the world, I cannot buy peace if I need one. I cannot buy peace. Are you listening to me? You listen, go look for look for the richest person on the face of the earth and you ask him. And I believe his name was Solomon. Go and ask him. The rich, who is the richest person on the earth now? Just, just find that person and ask. I'm telling you. I am telling you. If that person is on the face of this earth as a human being, he or she is going to tell you that they don't have complete peace. Great peace, the Bible says, are those who maintains and keep the law of him. And nothing, I want you to underline nothing. Nothing causes them to stumble. Nothing. Nothing. Like I said the other day, the Bible says, uh, uh, um, Solomon, the richest man on the face of the earth. I mean, the guy, the Bible describes how his capillaries, his plate that he eats in and all that was gold. I don't know about anybody who's living in, even in, I don't know what I, I don't know. If you may know one, somebody, I don't know, but he asked them. He came to the point where he says, you know what? That's too much headache. I still have headache. With all this, all this riches, it's, it's vanity. It, it, it doesn't bring me peace. It did, didn't bring me peace. Are you listening? Beloved, the, the peace you are looking for in the midst of your confusion, in the midst of your state of confusion, is in God. You can't get it from anywhere else. You cannot. Great. Bible didn't say small. It says great is the peace. Great. 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 Now, come with me to... um. Come with me to um, um, to um, the the book of uh, let's see here uh, Philippians. I'm going to close with this Philippians chapter four. All right, Philippians chapter four. Philippians chapter four. Look at verse six and seven again. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. All right. And the peace of God, the peace of God, the shalom of God. This is not the peace of the world. The world in the world, Jesus says, is where you will find tribulations. You will have tribulations. Do you believe Jesus or you don't? It's up to you. But trust me. He says he came to die for the world. He said, in the world you will find, you will have tribulations. Do you know what tribulations are? Troubles, confusion, all right? This, I mean, stress, depression. And we're going to be talking about depression. Um, you know, God willing, tomorrow we talk about depression. Because you see, confusion will lead you into depression. Confusion will lead you into depression. And these are practical, you know, life of people, including Christians, Christ followers. Are you listening to me? And so if you don't have this understanding, pressure, because you are living in the world. And Jesus says, you will find tribulations in this world. You will have it. He didn't say you even find, he said, in this world you will have tribulations. You will have tribulations. And confusion is part of the tribulations. Depression is part of the tribulation. What do you do when you find yourself in this predicament? All right. And so the peace, let's read that again. Philippians chapter 4, 6 and 7. Be anxious for nothing. Be anxious. You better say to yourself, I'm anxious for nothing. Don't be anxious in the state of confusion. Don't be anxious. But in everything, in the state of confusion, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, prayer, supplication, thanksgiving, let your request for peace be known to God. Let your request for peace. And the peace of God 
which surpasses all understanding. I want you to underline all, not some. All understanding will guard, will protect your heart and your mind through Christ Jesus. The peace of God. All right, the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding. When you are confused, you don't understand what you are going through. You don't understand why you find yourself in this place. You don't understand why things are not moving the way you expect. You don't understand why this person did this. You don't understand why you, you know, your children are doing this. You don't understand why your wife is acting that way. You don't understand why your husband is 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 so incons inconsiderate. You don't understand why your your wife is is having. I mean, I mean, she 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 she's so hard to understand. You don't understand why all that education you give your children. They're still not doing well in school. You don't understand why with all that investment, the things are not still going well. You don't understand why things are just chaotic. You know why? You need peace. When you find yourself in that state of confusion, beloved, the peace you are looking for, that surpasses all understanding. The things you don't understand. All those things I've mentioned. The peace of God surpasses all understanding all of this and that peace is a peace of god not a peace of the world the world don't have no peace listen you, you it's about time that you come to you know settle this with you that the world don't give peace the world don't give jesus didn't say that the peace of the world he says my peace he, he rather told you and me that the world gives you, you will have, he says, in the world, you will have tribulations. Tribulation. Jesus never said peace of the world. He says, I am the peace of the world. He is the peace of the world. He didn't say the world has peace to give you. And so, beloved, when you come to the place where you are confused, just so that you don't, you don't transcend from the, the, the state of confusion into depression. Are you listening to me? We're going to be talking about depression. Not today. God will in the next segment. We're going to talk about, but in order not for you to transcend from confusion to the state of depression, the peace, the shalom, the, 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 the completeness is in Christ Jesus. And that's why you have to give your life to Jesus. And if you are that individual, you may, listen, I've come across people, money does not give you the peace, beloved. Money don't give you the peace. Hmm. And, and, and some people say that when, when I get married, oh, I'll be so happy. And then you got married and you realize that it is not. And, and you are saying, man, if I can get to this school, if I, man, if, if I get this admission, man, I'm telling you, I will, I will be so happy. I, I know. And you get that admission and you realize that the, your course study is so much. You don't, you, you are not even enjoying nothing. And, and you think that, man, if I have, if, if I have children, I'll be so happy and all. And you realize that there's so much work in raising the children that you have that you think that you, it doesn't let you even enjoy. You forget about enjoying life anymore. Beloved, the only peace, the only one who can give you peace, and that peace surpasses all understanding, is the peace of God, the shalom. Of God and you get that only in Jesus so if you are that person looking for the peace looking for peace let me lead you to Jesus he's my master he's my Lord and my God he's my all in all and that is why in the midst of trouble I still laugh that is why in the midst of of chaos I still talk that is why you don't understand why I'm still talking in the midst of all that. That is why you don't understand in the midst of 
what you thought should collapse me or kill me or, or vanish me and I'm still standing. You know why? Because he's my peace. <laughs> oh yeah. He is my peace. He is my peace. The peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind. Your heart and your mind. <clears throat> Through Jesus Christ. Are you listening? You see that? The peace you need is through Jesus. You only have, you know, no, no Jesus, no peace. No Jesus, no peace. No Jesus, no peace. Jesus says, I am the peace of the world. I am the peace. No Jesus, no peace. So if you are that person and you need peace, you may be rich, but your, your riches is not giving you peace. Oh, because you have not made Jesus your Lord and your Savior. Maybe, you know, you, you, you are self-okay. You know, you don't have problem with finances. You don't have problem with children. You don't have problem, you know, with, with um, houses or cars or whatever. But still, you don't have peace. You are in the best school. You are in the Ivy League school. You are the best school on the face of this earth. You still don't have peace. You know why? Because you have not made Jesus your Lord and your Savior. And if you are that person, it's because of you I'm on this platform. I'm on this media. Because of you, the Lord sent me. Because of you. And therefore, take advantage of this and make Jesus. You try. If it doesn't work for you, ah, come back like you know my my old my pastor used to say if you did it if it doesn't work for you just come back for your money <laughs> are you are you listening all right so if you are that person with all seriousness make jesus open your heart to receive him pastor how do i receive jesus this is how you do it we're going to pray together let's pray together say lord jesus i thank you for giving me this opportunity to hear this message indeed i have not made you my lord and savior and that is why i don't have peace i need you in my life and so i receive you right now be the lord and savior of my life be the god of all that i have i surrender to you i believe you have received me as I have received you and I thank you beloved if you pray that prayer right now with all sincerity by just just activating your most holy faith in him Jesus has come into your life don't look anywhere else from this very moment when you find yourself in this crossroad call out to him Jesus show me you what to do show me which direction to go bible says that he will direct your path he will put your heart in the state of peace he will put your mind in the state of peace are you listening the bible says that be anxious for nothing be anxious for nothing be anxious for nothing are you listening but the peace of god which surpasses all understanding will guard your heart and your mind you see that do, 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 have you realized that when you are in the state of confusion your heart starts beating your mind is not at rest and so the peace you need all right the peace you need is the peace of god which will guard your heart and your mind through Jesus through Jesus Jesus says the world will give you tribulation but your peace the one that you the peace you need comes from me and that's why you have to call upon him first Matthew 6 33 Jesus said that he says seek ye first so when you find yourself in the midst of that confusion, the state of confusion, if you don't seek Jesus first, all right, 
they will draw you into depression and so if you are listening to me and you are confused don't drift into depression receive Jesus the peace of, of him to guard your heart and your mind are you listening and that will bring you to that place of peace beloved we'll be talking in the next segment about depression depression do you know anybody who's depressed there are Christians who are depressed because their level of understanding haven't been matured yet and so we'll be talking about that all right there is there is there is there are solutions for every problem right in this book in the word of god in god so we'll be talking about depression stay tuned stay tuned don't don't miss it don't miss it this ministry brings you solutions not scare tactics to talk to you and and magnify demons and demons chasing you and demons doing that and not no no this ministry brings you solution lead you to solution that is what Jesus was all about Jesus ain't come to scare us about demons and devilish things and all that if we find them in our path we cast them out but we don't go out looking for them and looking for them in people or looking for them in in things are you listening so be part of this ministry to find solutions to every problems challenges why because jesus said in the world that we live in you will find you will have tribulations but he he the master the one that we are following through him we find solutions for the tribulations so stay tuned we're we'll talking about depression in our next segment okay all right god bless you now <coughs> if you just gave your life to jesus made Jesus your Lord and Savior you also want to be part of the believers the 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 winning team all right you want to find your be part of the winning team therefore find a Bible believing teaching church let me repeat myself again a Bible believing teaching church get yourself in there and um, introduce yourself to the leadership let them know you are born again and you need to be baptized you have to be baptized in water position yourself all right for the baptism of the holy spirit and um, we are living in the dispensation of the holy spirit he will guide you he's your helper he will lead you and guide you through all the various areas of life amen now we are also a ministry that believes in helping helping others helping others in need and so we are um, again um, taking another journey uh, to the nation of Ghana to be a blessing to this orphanage last month we went there um, we've been going there and we've been helping them um, they need beds to sleep on beds to sleep on so again in our, in, in our collaboration with uh, Joy in Giving Foundation. In Joy in Giving Foundation, we are teaming up again to produce or, or give them beds, sleeping beds. They're sleeping on the floors, on the floors. And uh, it's not good. It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. Um, I don't want to just bring this, uh, you know, picture, you know, but I'm telling you, uh, sleeping on the floor is it's not the best. And so let's help them all right let's help them and so we are doing that so please support all right support we need your financial support to help us do that buy this beds mattresses and all that for them uh, if you want to do that if you are in the in the United States area or the uh, the, uh, um, the North America you can use your cash app all right 
just cash up or your Zelle. You can use that the number uh, to use that to financially send your support or your donations is 914-572-9816. 914-572-9816. If you want to use your uh, if you want to use PayPal, uh, go to the website www dot patrickquainoministries.com click on the uh, the donate button and follow the rest of the instructions okay god bless you we don't force you to give we we love you to give cheerfully as god loves a cheerful giver you give because you love god you don't give because you are forced to give are you listening and so please do that and uh, let's be a blessing to this orphanage children they need our help and we must help them they need beds we need about 50 bong beds for them you know the bong beds is the one sleep on top one sleep on the bottom we need about 50 of them all right we need to do that and so we are raising this um, amount of money uh, listen no amount it's small your hundred dollars will do your five hundred dollars will do your thousand dollars will do your fifty dollars will do your your you know five thousand dollars will do so there's more there's more after the bags there are other things we need to do for them and so um, in collaboration again with um, joy in giving foundation uh, we are we are embarking on this journey so be part of it and God will bless you God will bless you Jesus says you know when you do for this little ones you have done for me and so do it do it for Jesus do it for Jesus God bless you all of the information that you need is crawling on your your screen right now take your time and get that information so that you'll be able to contact this ministry and also um, please be part of the group all right the group of this ministry also their group apostles and disciples to send the, the messages send these messages to the ends of the world all right tap into it and broadcast share it with on your contact your friends and loved ones they will be blessed okay the group the name of the group is patrick quino ministries patrick quino ministries and um, be part of it as well invite friends and your loved ones also to be part of it and you know um share good good news get share good news on the platform so that we can all be blessed as well okay share share good messages and all that that will be a blessing to somebody okay um, finally finally um, I want you to subscribe on the, the YouTube account all right I think I've posted and right after this message you're going to see those of you who are using your you on your your laptop or your computers how to go about it if you are using your phones your um, cell phones how to go about it it's all there for you all right, so um, subscribe to it. It's free. Uh, you don't have to do that. And invite others to subscribe and get more messages to bless you. Okay? All right. Until I come your way, same time to position yourself to receive the word in the area of depression so you can have something to share with those who are depressed as well. I want you to know you don't have no trouble. All you need is your faith. In God and in all thy getting, get understanding.